Bloop, bloop. We are recording. <clears throat> Hello. Welcome back. We are about to read the last chapter of Seeker. Freshly revised by yours truly. Badass miracle worker. Almost to the end. Almost. Hmm. So, so how do I pronounce the ooh? The O. Oh, the O. Oh. Uh. Uh. Like, like <laughs> Kaiser Susie. <laughs> I don't. I haven't seen that film in, in <laughs> nearly long enough, man. That's a great movie. <laughs> we saw. We watched Dogma last night. Have you ever seen it? Um. I don't think so. It's the Kevin Smith movie. It's great. Ne ne next time uh, such a time occurs that we're in the same room together with a DVD player, I will share the joys of Dogma with you. <laughs> uh, you can totally not... You can totally choose not to pronounce the uh, letters and, uh, and numbers here because these are more or less random. And you that, just say... Reading them, it's a great visual thing. Yeah. So but saying them out, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, for for the for the sake of viewers, I'm explain. I'm gonna explain what's going on. Uh, I have a cup. I have come up with a uh, sort of catalog name uh, or or a code for uh, for a given st star system, and I have used the naming formula that is kind of actually in use right now for celestial objects is that you have a letter combination which refers to the in some cases it refers to the telescope or in some cases refers to the catalog in which the the object is being listed and then there's a numerical part to the name so there's like a bunch of letters a bunch of numbers numbers are generated by a random number generator in the internet if anybody asks <laughs> <laughs> so so I think you can just say the trinary system of <coughs> <laughs> 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 or da -da 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 -da. <laughs> mm -hmm. anyway shall we this home world did not exist in the official records the trinary system <laughs> had been deemed a colonization failure and never been given a proper name. After the original terraforming expedition had abandoned the prime world candidate and the ecosystems kept collapsing on the next hopefuls, the development efforts dwindled and nobody thought to pay further atten attention to the suboptimal third moon of the second smallest gas giant. You sure this is the place? I can't see where they'd put an entrance among these rocks. Joel pulled some escapee frizz, hair frizz back into a jutting tail and sighed a puff of frozen breath into the thin mountain air. Raptor's coordinates had led them to an indie merchant docked at the pot per <laughs> Raptor's coordinates had led them to an indie merchant docked at the perpetually busy transactional station by our chaos two. The merchant had directed them to a research outpost on the dust rings of Rystar six. The lab operator had sent them to Ronde. <laughs> I want to say Ronde's vows. <laughs> <laughs> the lab operator had sent them to rendezvous, a transport vessel on the outskirts of Thanatos' system, and the vessel's navigator had pointed them to an asteroid mining operator at Zandalar. Each contact had provided a piece of address that had eventually brought them to this unnamed discount moon. <laughs> so good! May, may I read it myself so that yes, I can of sort course. of take, take it in one swooping blow? <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> Raptor's, Raptor's cordons had left him. <sighs> yeah. Swooping <laughs> blow indeed. <laughs> Raptor's coordinates had led him to an indie merchant docked at the perpetually busy transactional sta st station by Archaeos 2. The merchant had directed them to a research outpost in the dust rings of Rystar 6. The lab operator had sent him to a rendezvous. Uh, fuck. <laughs> now I've watched it. <laughs> mm. 
I, I know that it sounds good. Yeah. I just I just can't do it at this moment. Oh, serious business now. The gum's coming out. <laughs> Raptor's coordinates had led him to an indie merchant docked at the perpetually busy transactional system. <laughs> Fuck. I, I have to I have to increase the zoom. Okay. Part of it is that I have I have my uh web page is zoomed out quite a bit and with Chrome they are reading a they are looking a little bit different and like this is throwing me off a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Raptor's coordinates had led him to an indie merchant docked at the perpetually busy transactional station by Archaos 2. The merchant had directed them to a research outpost in the dust rings of Rystar 6. The lab operator had sent them to rendezvous a transport vessel on the outskirts of Thanatos system, and the vessel's navigator had pointed them to an asteroid mining operator and Zandala. Each contact had provided a piece of address that had eventually brought them to this unnamed discount moon. There. <laughs> bravo! Bravo! But, but now you carry on. Jewel and Fortune had left their ship, a tardigrade class multitasker with reasonably spartan crew accommodations, resting on an outpost. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? <laughs> What's going on? What's still? <laughs> Just chill. So all you got to do is chill and read the damn words. <laughs> Jewel and Fortune had left their ship, a tardigrade class multitasker with reasonably spartan crew accommodations resting on an alpine meadow above, and hike down the rocky ridges, only to find more of the same terrain with no evidence of human activity. Fortune knelt to study the ground and the jagged boulders around them. Look! He rose, brushing his hands. This area has to be artificial. See the lichens? Multigraphis and ig ignivolpicida. Sorry, I'll put your lane. Never grow side by side like this. <laughs> Either one of them overpowers the other, or they merge into a super symbiotic colony. It's really quite fascinating how... Jewel slapped his shoulder and chuckled. Got it. False rock. Let's see if there are... Let's see if there are any entry controls on this thing. My bot's already freezing numb. They patted down the rocks until the false life retreated bearing a circular smart surface patch. Fortune raised a brow. This looks somewhat familiar, huh? Indeed. Now let's hope they have us on the guest list. Well, let's hope they have us on the guest Yeah, that was right. Brain, come on. Indeed. Now let's hope they have us on the guest list. Uh, I think it's Do more like, indeed. Now, let's hope they have us on the guest list. Indeed. Now, let's hope they have us on the guest list. Oh, I've still I'm doing that. I'm fucking doing it wrong, man. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Now, let's hope they have us on the guest list. Jewel pressed her hand into the circle. The rock face part. No, I'm, I have. Sorry, I'm, I'm ballsing this up. The writing is perfect, okay? It's, it's the, the, the person speaking the words that's messing this whole deal up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This, what's written on the page, art. Me, uh, I'm a total mess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am, I am have distracted <laughs> by some other humans, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Somewhere mm -hmm. in the vast internets, perhaps? I shall, I shall not like, speak of it. <laughs> you sound like, you know when Stewie's doing that thing to Brian where he's like, are you working on that novel yet? <laughs> <laughs> Worked out the main themes and the characters? Uh, I'm sure it'll all come together at the end. It'll be fine. The characters will change. You know, like, will evolve as people. <laughs> That's you right now. That's the voice you, you had on when you made that. Oh, okay. Indeed. Now, let's hope they have us on the guest list. Jewel pressed her hand into the circle. The rock face parted without further biometric demands, 
revealing a path into natural looking tunnel dotted with dim lights. Farther in, the tunnel expanded into a sprawl of forking and looping passages that somehow messed with their sense of up and down. Jewel came to a halt. Oh, that's clever. Multi-directional controlled gravity to mess with the directional sense. Can't you track our movement? Nuh uh. The link with the ship cut off as we entered. And I bet these tunnels recompile on demand anyway. How do you know where we're going then? Fortune sounded more intrigued than worried. It's the lights. See how some of the cells shine a little brighter? I bet somebody controls them on the other end. If they didn't want us here, they could easily lose us in these tunnels. After some more wandering around the tunnel. Uh uh. Okay, there's like tunnel, 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 tunnel. Uh... Oh, hang on. The my problem was sorry. I just need to add this in here, and then after okay. some more wandering, the tunnel narrowed, leading them to an open hatch. That's the I, that's the problem I had. Actually, let me make it simpler. If they didn't want us here, they could easily lose lose us. Down here? They could easily lose us down here? No, there's already one dust here. They could easily lose us. Oh, yeah. In this. Amaze! Mmm, nice, okay. It's the lights. See how some of the cells shine a little brighter? I bet somebody controls them on the other end. If they didn't want us here, they could easily lose us in this maze. After some more wandering, the tunnel narrowed, leading them to an open hatch. On the other side, they found the repurposed interior of a mid-sized transport ship's cargo hull, with carry modules and containers turned into seats and tables. To their right, they saw a long counter with tubes and taps mounted on the bulkhead behind. Fortune. I think we've just walked into a bar. What do we do now? I suppose we order us some drinks. Sorry, I added some there. I suppose we order us drinks. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> I would <clears throat> I would like to add that this part here. I had trouble working out the uh the part between they have landed and and they are walking into a bar. I mean, I I knew I knew basically what they were doing, but I lacked the sense of it. I, I like the flavor. And when I was working on this part, I was heavily uh, playing uh, uh, Never Winter Nights the uh, Never Winter Nights 2 the Storm of Zaheer module which is like uh, uh, like semi sandboxy or like uh, uh there's a lot of dungeon crawl, what I'm trying to say, and uh, and in the end I sort of went with the sort of dungeon crawl feel. So, if if there is if there is some adventuring party vibe in this section, it is entirely intentional. I would like to thank the academy. Do carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Jewel was staring at the midpoint of her warm brewberry ale when a melodic tone spoke up by her shoulder. Seeker Valkyrie. Sorry, I should I should actually try to put the effort into the voice there, really. <laughs> Baritone. Let's uh let's let's call in Rue. <laughs> he, he he does the soft baritone, I think. <laughs> Seek of Valkyrie? No, that's too, that's too Seek soft. Seek of Valkyrie. Yeah. Jewel was staring at the midpoint of her warm brewberry ale when a melodic baritone spoke up by her shoulder. Seek of Valkyrie. No, I'm still not right. <laughs> Jewel held back a grin of recognition, envisioning the sharp mahogany eyes on her. I don't go by that anymore. She met his gaze, but I am listening. I'm fucking this right up. Hang on. Let me <laughs> let me just take a moment here to <laughs> The 
it's see that's how that's just mm -hmm. water in here but it's a very ergonomic mm -hmm. beer bottle see how mm -hmm. it sits in your hand funny how nature do that <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Jewel was staring at the midpoint of her warm brewberry ale when a melodic baritone spoke up by her shoulder. Seek a Valkyrie? Jewel held back a grin of recognition, envisioning the sharp mahogany eyes on her. I don't go by that anymore, she met his gaze, but I am listening. The gentleman's expression was impossible to read. You have come here to meet someone. This wasn't a question. It is unknown whether or... It is unknown <laughs> whether... Go on. The gentleman's expression was impossible to read. You have come here to meet someone. This wasn't the question. It is unknown whether or when they will make it in person. So I am to give you this on their behalf. He placed the plain data chip on the table and granted each of them a brief nod. Farewell, saplings. <laughs> okay, carry on. As he turned to leave, the soft light played on the creases around his eyes, and Jewel could have sworn that she saw the old man smile. Fortune nudged her under the table. You've, you've met him before? Uh-huh. He delivered me the info that led to you. Really? I wonder what he brought this time. Jewel clipped the chip. Uh, Jewel clipped the chip to her data pad. Looks like a list of some sort. No, wait. It's a bunch of voice logs. Let's see. She poked at the first entry. They heard indoor ambient sounds and laughter in the background. Then a woman's voice spoke close by. Is this thing working? Hey. A drink this way, if you please, Johnny. Aye, Chief Henning. Enjoying the recorder? Oh, I love me some antiques. I want to keep it. I'm not sure what I'd do with it exactly. Make it... I think you'd be better off reading Trista's <clears throat> part. Okay. Of course, the thing is that I don't necessarily have a voice for her. But let's, let's see what I can come up with. <clears throat> they heard it. They heard him. <clears throat> let's let's get into character here. Let's pretend that this this really is like Brewberry Ale. Brewberry <laughs> Ale. It's a Saint Peter's cream stout, but that's close enough, I suppose. <laughs> hmm. They heard indoor am ambient sounds and laughter in the background. Then a woman's voice spoke close by. Is this thing working? Hey, drink this way, if you please, Johnny. I, Chief Henning. Enjoying the recorder? Oh, I love me some antiques. I wanna keep it. Not sure I want. Not sure I do. Not sure what I do with it exactly. Make a secret captain's log, maybe. Oh, speak into it so people won't know when you're talking to yourself. Genius. <laughs> More laughter er erupted from the background, mixed with cheers and drinking noises. Then the recording cut off. Jewel stared at the screen, her heart racing. Is that? I mean, I hardly remember her real voice. Fortune's voice trembled. Yes, that's mother. I never knew she kept a diary. There's an issue here. <coughs> uh, there's, uh, there's some repetition with the voice, 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 voice. Uh, so either I want to change with the I hardly remember her real voice or change fortune, fortune's voice trembled I hardly remember what she sounded like yeah, or, okay. yeah that's 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 a viable alternative Because I like I like Fortune's voice trembling. I think yeah, that's, that so fits perfectly there. For the moment, let's go with this. 
Jewel stared at the screen, her heart racing. Is that? I mean, I hardly remember what she sounded like. Fortune's voice trembled. Yes, that, that's mother. I never knew she kept a diary. And that Johnny character, that John, that sounded like Raptor. Of course, he told me they worked together. They leaned over Jewel's data pad to examine the entries with new interest. Look at these timestamps. That's before you were even born. Fortune nodded. Play it. <clears throat> and now we're back to uh, Trista. So I will. I will. Uh, just whatever comes. Okay. Uh -huh. Took a solo job today. Shipment securing past competition turf. Standard stuff. The contractor is a bit peculiar. Maybe he's just in inexperienced. Pays me well though. For some reason, he insists, on, he insists on accompanying the shipment himself. He's either very naive, very determined, or both. I suppose I can let him ride along, as long as he doesn't hinder my work. Feels odd to do a job without the team, but after the last stints, I think we all need a little space from each other. Next one. Been so busy with my adventures at, in startup, I've forgotten to keep up with the gang. Then again, they spent a lot of time off world, so anyway, Johnny filled me in, and now I have some decisions to make. On one hand, joining the secret group would mean some sweet treatment and even sweeter gear. I hear there's a sponsor involved who'd be willing to vouch for the whole team. And yet, the work I'm doing here, the difference I could make. I need to think. Next. And to clarify, uh, there are no next or tap written in the text, but I'm including them here to mark the distinction between entries. Mm. I said yes. Effective today, I am the newly anointed security head of House Harper. Sounds grandiose if you say it like that. <laughs> I know the gang still expected me to join them at Rystar. I've made up my mind. As for the other proposal, I told Max I needed some more thinking time. Fortune rubbed his face. Maybe skip ahead a little. I don't think I can handle the full frontal happiness right now. <laughs> Jewel took a gulp of her ale. Me neither. Right, this one's from after you were born. Here we go. Today's schedule. Meet the trainees, feed Fortune. Outline the supply, la supply run, pump milk, RV with the house squad to the run, to be debrief back home, feed fortune, evening drink with Maxis, pump milk before, more trainees tomorrow. They skimmed over dozens of mundane happy entries full of logistics, inventories, other voices in the background and the occasional muffled suckling sounds. After skipping over several dozens more, fortune pointed to a timestamp. Here, play this one. I cannot believe our baby boy is reaching business age. Max has been trying to get him interested in the administrative duties in vain. His talents are just so different from his. And mine. Perhaps we should grant him more resources for the labs. Let him hire his own team and expand the research grounds. I'll talk to them both once he gets back from his big night. I'll tell them my own news then as well. Gotta admit, I was a little nervous letting him go on his own. But I had my people check the location. It's as safe as it can be. Contracted to a reputable security service. I hope he'll return soon. Fortune's knuckles had turned pale from gripping his cup. His tone flat. Bit the next one. I did. I think this entry might be blank. No. Wait. They caught some heavy breathing, followed by a deep gulp and glass being smashed onto wood. They took him. Whoever set this up? I should have taken a squad. I knew something was wrong, I just knew. When I got there the hookah was still warm. Maybe if I'd gone a little earlier. They heard liquid being poured. There, there was this guy in the allied enforcement uniform bleeding out. I tried to keep him alive, tried to help him. 
That's what I told them do, too. I found him stabbed and I tried to help him. I needed to tell me. I needed him to tell me about my boy. I think Max is coming. I don't know how to face him. I shouldn't be drinking. Not now. Jewel looked at Fortune wide eyed. Oh, I think I need something stronger than ale with this. <laughs> Make it two. She returned with two bulbs of bamboo hooch. They drank up and returned to the logs. Whoever came up with this idea of house arrest knew exactly what they were doing. I'm losing it, little by little. I should be out there, looking. And with my mind in the void, I am no good raising a daughter. Perhaps I was never meant to be a mother, and this is the galaxy's way of setting me straight. Poor Max. He deserves better. Next. Today Max closed up another shipping office. The crew wasn't happy, but they understood. If we can no longer hold up our part of the contract, well... At least we've been able to keep the house security intact. And well cared for. So far. The voice logs grew more minimal and monotone, then a long gap appeared in the, in the timestamps. The first entry after that sounded hesitant, Krista's voice quavering. Uh, I could get used to this place. Don't have a choice, really. Still got some recovery ahead, low textile. And until we learn which ports are safe, it is better for what I wanted to keep their ass put. Let the others bring in data for a change. It's a blessing to have so many old contacts stepping up for support. Ironic too, considering who cooked this shit up in the first place. To think how excited I was to meet the team again. I wouldn't dream they'd given me bad intel. Uh, I wouldn't dream they'd given me bad intel. Then again, I wouldn't dream they'd harm my family either. I knew that some operations of Max Raptor squad sponsored the wrong way. But to keep messing with us after all this time, that has some personal grudge written all over. It's the twins doing, I'm certain of it now. I thought Johnny had joined them for the sake of a team reunion, but he'd come along to warn me. Sierra Madre isn't getting, getting younger, he said. I should have realized what he meant. It's that ancient training scenario we both liked. I always found it difficult to do the heist with a zero betrayal. Johnny must have known the twins are up to no good. He was trying to warn me, and I didn't listen. At least now I know for sure that Johnny is my on. <laughs> <laughs> At least now I know for sure that Johnny is on my side. The next log came with some loud shipping noises in the background. We're really doing this! Working out safe route wasn't easy, but we're going down to RK4 soil, bitches! <laughs> it will be a pleasure to add my fruits of um, unlicensed trade into the emergency reserve. I knew it! Jewel smacked her palm to the table, toppling the hooch bulb. I knew there were some secret visits going on. How did you figure it out? Something you said, actually. Got me thinking, and I remembered some... odd occasions. Fascinating. Fortune rested his chin on his fists. Keep him playing. I was able to sneak in a visit during the Equinox celebrations, and travel on ground undetected. I had to stay in Max's office, but he displayed the house feeds for me. She was growing so fast. I've instructed the clips to keep an eye on her, once she begins wandering out. Next. They almost spotted me. I can no longer expect to make in and out of case space safely. Need to find a neutral location for info drops. Once again, the enter shunk to memos and equipment lists, with a mere handful of longer musings between them. Received reports from home. Eclipse says Jewel makes it to the streets with some regularity now. She keeps the adventurous tales of Rice Star Seekers going. Max has been able to keep up the oppressive vibe, says she's genuinely resenting him now. Lapse is insecure, a reason to explain away, but Max says he can't keep up this but Max says he can't keep up this act his act much longer. Sometimes I think we made a terrible mistake. 
What if we never find fortune again? Then it's all for nothing and we have tombed both of our children. I'm sorry, my love. I'll put you through this. I look upon the case star and think of you. Next. Word from Johnny. Pardon. Overseer Raptor. Jewel has arrived at her hub and he's keeping an eye on her. Becoming a mentor if he can. No one would suspect she's anything other than a talented street creep. <laughs> <laughs> blip, 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 blip. <coughs> Let's start over. Word from Johnny. Pardon. Overseer Raptor. Jewel has arrived at their hub and he's keeping an eye on her. Becoming a mentor if he can. No one would suspect she's anything other than a talented street kid. The Eclipse taught her well. Even if someone sni sniffs out her true origin, well. Her disdain for the family is genuine and they will consider her an asset. One way or the other, she'll be safe there and I can carry on looking for clues. And next. Finally, the crucial piece of info. The street runners went above and beyond this time and intercepted some bleak memos that put me back on track. Looks like those false feeds that took me to the peripheral worlds were deliberate misinformation spread ab among the grey networks. Turns out Fortune has been within case space the whole time. Time to get the intel to Max. I hope our little girl is ready. All hopes are on her now. This was the last voice log. Jewel rubbed her temples. I'm guessing that's when they brought me the contract. Indeed. They both turned to see the speaker. Neither had noticed the tall woman standing by their booth. Fortune jumped up and rushed to her side, but Jewel could only stare, studying the face. <laughs> I need, I need, I need to take some, some of that pseudo ale water. <coughs> what? <Water. laughs> They both turned to face the speaker. Neither had noticed the tall woman standing by their booth. Fortune jumped up and rushed to her side, but Jewel could only stare, studying the face she'd mostly forgotten. The woman's age was difficult to guess, her face bearing the freckle veil of repeated rejuvenations, but Jewel noted deep frown lines cutting into her broad forehead and a weariness in her cloudy blue eyes. Strong brows crowned the long upturned nose with perpetually flared nostrils, just like her own, and her surly mouth rested on a small jutting chin. The healthy amber of her cheeks spoke of regular daylight exposure, but the dark under eyes and the creases around her mouth belonged to someone who slept very little and smiled even less. Trista had squeezed Fortune close and cradled his head while fixing her eyes on Jewel. Hello, baby girl she finally said. <laughs> and now comes the part that I have been working on these last few days. <coughs> they had moved over to a more private enclosure with, with a small feast of frigora roast and some almost fresh fruit. Jewel sat by Trista's side, carefully avoiding direct contact, yet close enough to obser observe her scents fresh mountain mist mixed with bonfire smoke whiffing of her armor and the warm pepper and cedar wood of her close, cr close cropped hair frizz. Fortune shif shifted on his seat and coughed. <coughs> uh, I suppose you already know about father. Trista pressed her mouth tight and nodded. Fortune gouged a small box from his field kit. We brought you this. He held the box open, presenting Trista with a simple mem memorial crystal on a leather string. Overseer Raptor sent it. We couldn't be there in person. Trista closed her eyes and pressed the crystal to her lips. The quiet moment was too much for Jewel to bear. It's all my fault, she, bl she blurted. I let Rafe follow us into... Trista squeezed her hand. Don't. I made the enemies who would follow you in the first place. If I'd sorted things out better with my team, or 
at least recognize they could become a threat. She waved her hand. Joe will inch closer. So what happened? Trista shrugged. I don't know for sure. Might have been matter of might have been a matter of professional jealousy, might have been some unresolved injustice, might have been something pointless. The twins always had a temper and well somewhat inflated self importance thing going on. She took a sip of of her ale. She took a sip of her ale. Rhythm. She took a sip of her ale. My best guess is the people who wanted us to be their designated seeker squad didn't like that I had turned the offer down. Didn't much like your father either. Could be they tasked the others to take me down a peg. Could be the twins were eager to prove themselves and brought some unresolved grudges into the mix. Could be they tried and failed to get me for a while. Get to me. Not helping the grudge part, I, I imagine. She took another sip. Could be they realized they'd gone too far and only become, only became more ruthless trying to cover up their tracks from then on. She stared into the into her empty mug. Sounds like a pair of taint sniffers to me. She will have to their own mug with a conclusive slurp. Pass me the meaty bits, bro. <laughs> so. Trista sat back from her empty plate. I know this is a lot to handle all at once, but what do you plan to do with the compound? Jewel kept nibbling the small spicy carcass, ignoring the conversation. Then she noticed a growing pause. Wait, you mean me? Fortune waved at her, his cheeks stuffed. Oh no, hurting you. <laughs> <laughs> Trista saluted him with a smirk. One did in five systems, plus a handful of affiliated homeworlds. She turned to Jewel. You're the only one here who can claim the operations of House Harper. And this is where I have to stop reading because I haven't uh, fully worked out the last sentence yet. So the, the sort of general vibe of the scene is settled. They are, they are now, they have, they have passed the grim faces face and they are now sort of starting to look into the future and, uh, and having a comfortable chat in the warm and they have all gotten a bit drunk <laughs> and, and, and uh, now the, the dialogue part needs some input. The payoff is amazing. When it's all together and being re read out, and you can follow along, it's like, oh my god, this is <laughs> awesome, fantastic job. One million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle was was totally worth it. You've know this. I mean, if from the start, where you get the location, and you're on like the you finding your way through the the um like the dungeon the, crawl. Yeah, when <laughs> when when you're doing the tunnels and stuff like that, that is so easy to imagine. And then when you come to like the the ship, there's there's a bar and things like mm. that, and there's all like containers and stuff. That's so real. Like it's so easy to imagine that, and it and it's so r real. You can see Jewel and Fortune moving through this scene, you know, and you know then getting a drink and settling down in in the booth, and then they sit and listen to the voice recordings, and it all and it all comes together. It's awesome. <laughs> so. Congratulations! Job well done. <laughs> Tea and medals all round. Yeah, this this is where people thank the academy, etc. <laughs> okay, so this is what I have so far for the sort of final wind down. So so basically, the idea is that the the tail end of the final scene is sort of fading fading into into mundane. <laughs> Not fade to black, but but fade into comfort. But uh, also indicating that uh, the th even though we have stopped finished, even though we have stopped observing the adventure here, there are unresolved issues for the character. So basically, they they will go on doing some stuff after this. 
Okay, so she turned to jewel. You are the only one, uh, only one here who can claim the operations of House Hop. Oh, I just figured out what could, what's the sort of uh, uh, suitable, uh, suitable uh, voice, uh, voice example uh, for Trista uh, in the TV show Brooklyn Nine Nine. Uh, the detective Rosa Diaz. She has this very deadpan delivery and sort hmm. of like very, <laughs> very, very serious kind of comedically serious, and uh, and this could be the the voice that uh, that she's being read with. Anyway, okay, she turned to jewel. You're the only one here who can claim the operations of Ho House Hopper. Ah, uh, Jewel wiped her mouth. I mean, I'm not that good with trade. Ah, uh, trade. I, I'm not good with people. She thought back to all the freelance faces. I don't even know who's working with us. So, so the idea here is that there is there there is some more dialogue. Mm -hmm. And then Trista will sort of like uh, uh, e going like easy girl, so it's like ah oh, don't don't worry about it now. And then the the final line will be for now we have time, indicating mm -hmm. that they they will they will sit there and chat there for a while. That's the indication. So this is Trista's line for now we have time. This is this is where it ends, but but some of the stuff between here now. This this part here is the. <laughs> part. So close you can taste it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I've gone through a few versions here. And. Uh, I I have uh, at this point I I have cut off the part where Fortune explains his plans. Like we know what he, what his plans are, but uh, to start discussing what he will do will take it uh, too far, or like it's it's gonna elab elaborate too much. We would need the whole scene maybe for the everybody has some plans, yo. Mm. So instead, without going into that, also leaves it a bit more open for us in the future. If yeah. like, when, when it comes to the sequel, we've we've not said that oh Trista's doing this, Fortune is doing this, and Jewel mm. is definitely doing this, and then we've got to come back and be like oh it needs to make all this work. Mm. <laughs> so I think being ambiguous is good. Mm -hmm. Well, we. We don't uh, we don't fully have to because this is just what they what they might be planning to do not mm, uh, not necessarily yeah. what uh, what they end up doing so I think there's there's still some wiggle room it's just that uh, uh, again this chapter is long as it is and uh, discussing too many specifics will diffuse the focus here. So right now I I, I wanna <laughs> I wanna drive the scene into the into the place where they are just sort of sitting there, having their drinks and 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 chatting and like oh right now we have time and like <laughs> happily happily prattling on, so it's like um, the whole discussion or the the whole bringing up this so what you gonna do with the house, uh, this is not a serious plot point anymore. This is more like. Uh, more like okay now we're on we're on mundane ter terms now we can we can now sort of chit chat a little bit it's like the tension is over and it's just a little sort of wind down chit chat but also but also important character point is that suddenly Jewel finds herself in the position <laughs> of responsibility like what wait what <laughs> <Fuck>? <laughs> So one bit that I might want to keep in is the Trista patted her knee. Don't worry, baby girl. Something, 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 something. And 
And another uh, thing that Trista might say or point at is that don't worry if you don't know who's working with us. Uh, there, there will be, there will be plenty of people who know what they're doing. So it's mm -hmm. like you, you just, you just need to know. You just need to get to know the different specialists, and they will run their own operations and like that, that sort of thing. But yeah, uh, shall I finish recording? Yeah, you can do. Yeah, because we can we can work this uh, this bit out of camera, and then it's sending to the readers. <laughs> because, well, I can. So spoilers. The book ends with the words. For now, we have time, and and that's and that's it. So. Let's uh, let's have the uh, reading session also end with that, and we will work out the middle part behind the scenes on our mm -hmm. own. So, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for staying on the ride. Mm -hmm. And bye. Thanks. Bye. bye.